Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. This is part 11 of the Chromex app playlist, and in this video, I will show you how we can hide the introduction fragment when the user clicks on the start button. Because this fragment will only show once to the user, and when the user clicks on the start button, we want to hide it forever. So, to do that, we're going to use shared preferences. And for that, we're going to go to our app module, and we're going to provide the shared preferences we want to use in here. So, let's actually create in you provides function and there's no need to provide singleton with this because we're only gonna use it in the introduction fragment and now let's write the provider function and call this function provide introduction share the preferences so function and we're going to use the context and we can get the context using the application class in the provides function and we will pass it inside the arguments and now to get the reference from shared preferences I'm gonna use the application as we said dot get shared preferences and here is specify the name of the shared preferences and for that I will go to the constant uh, object file and let's create a new constant val in here const val introduction share the preferences and this equals to introduction share the preferences now get back or copy this first and put it in here and now we're gonna provide the mode in which this share the preferences uh, is allowed to in our case we only want it to our app so only our app will able will be able to read from this chart preferences and now let's create a new view model for the introduction fragment so inside the view model package create a new one and call this introduction view model let's set up that real quick and we're going to use the inject annotation to inject the dependencies needed import inject and in here we first need the shared preferences and we also need um, we need the firebase authentication which is firebase authentication now inside the empty block in here we can check if the button is clicked or if the user is already just start so we're gonna create is button clicked equals shared preferences dot get boolean and here we're gonna pass uh, the key so uh, I would like to have a companion object in here or not a companion object you can just add it to the constants file so let's create a new const val and call this introduction key and we're just gonna pass any name introduction key we're gonna put this in here we're gonna use the same key later when we wanna save a new value and now we're gonna pass the default values all pass false so in here we're gonna have also to check if the user is already logged in so I would like to get the user dot current user and now the user is nullable the user could be null so in here we're gonna check if the user is not equal to null then we want to navigate to the uh, other activity which is a shopping activity and else than that else if uh, if else if the uh, button is clicked so is button clicked then we want to navigate to the account options fragment else than that we will do we will we won't do anything so now let's have our uh, state it's gonna be private val navigate state and in here is we're gonna use a mutable state flow initially let's give it zero then let's make the public one which will be state flow you have integer and it equals to the public one now inside the first if statement when we have a user logged in then we want to navigate to the um, to the shopping activity so in here I wanna launch a new view model scope dot launch and 
in here I'm gonna emit a new value and for this value let's actually create a pinon object in here So inside this companion object, we're gonna have const val shopping shopping activity, and let's give this uh, any number, so 23 maybe or anything. Um, we also need to have const val account oops account option options fragment. And let's give this uh, the ID of the link between the introduction fragment and the account option fragment. So r.id part the r dot action introduction fragment to account option fragment. And now inside the emit block inside the emit function, sorry, we're gonna emit shopping activity, shopping activity. And if the button is clicked, then we want to navigate to the account option fragment. So we're going to launch or we're going to just copy this and change the emit to account options fragment. Else we actually won't do anything. So we'll just type unit in here. Now one more function in this view model, which is the one that's going to change the value inside this chart of preferences. So function start uh, button click which is the button that shown in the direction fragment so in this function we only gonna use the charger preferences to change to put the boolean inside the charger preferences we're gonna use the key in here which is the introduction key and we're gonna pass true for the value then we're gonna call apply to do that now we're finished with this view model let's actually go to the introduction fragment and first of all we want to have a reference to our view model so private um, val view model equals or by view models this one and here we're gonna pass the introduction of view model we're gonna get it to this fragment and inside here we're gonna have a creating scope life cycle scope dot launch when it started and now we're gonna collect the navigate state dot collect and in here we have it which is integer of course now we're gonna have when a block and we're gonna check it so when um let me go to the view model so when it equals to shopping activity we will navigate to the shopping activity and when the uh, it when it equals the account option fragment, then we will navigate. Let's actually check when it is shopping activity. Then we will just navigate. We will start a new activity. Uh, we wrote the code for this inside the login fragment. We can go in here and we can copy it from there. Okay, this one. Go back to here, and I will just sorry to here and we'll just paste it and when it is the account options fragment this one then we will actually navigate to the account options fragment so I'm gonna copy this line from here paste it down below and when um, or we can actually remove this ID and just give it it because it is the same ID of this okay now else than that we will actually do nothing. We will stay inside the introduction fragment. And now one last thing is to change the value inside the shared preferences whenever the user clicks on a start. So let's use the view model dot start button click whenever we click or whenever the user clicks on a start. Okay, now one thing we don't need to forget is to add the Android entry point to this fragment in case you don't have it, so add it in here. We also need to add it inside the view model. We need to add the health view model annotation. And now you can launch the app. Let's see that. Okay, now the app is launched. Let's click on start. Let's log in inside the account. So here is the email and here's the password. Click on login. 
okay now we logged in let's exit the app now when we enter the app again we should start from the shopping activity because we have this code in here this will actually emit shopping activity and inside the introduction fragment when we receive that we directly gonna navigate or we're gonna start a new activity going to the shopping activity let's see that in practice so let's open the app again and as you can see uh, we we saw actually the introduction fragment for a little bit of time then we directly navigated to the to the shopping activity now if we click back we exit the app and that's exactly the behavior that we want now let's uh, let's actually delete the app and let's launch it or install it again we also want to check that we can navigate to the account option fragment when we click on start so let's click on start let's actually close this and let's open the app again client youtube and as you can see we started from the account options fragment and that's actually it for this video so if you like this video don't forget to support me by liking it and subscribing to my channel and you can also turn on the notification bell to receive every new video i post in my channel and you can also follow me on my instagram page the link is in the description the link is in the description thank you so much for watching hope you have a great day catch you in the next video